how you guys doing welcome back to the channel once again I'm gonna show you guys everything that I have done to the car before I let the car go it's gonna be a separate video so I'm gonna show you all the mods that I've been doing to the car uh, this car is super clean man that's the only reason why that's another reason why I bought it so I'm gonna show you guys the mods okay uh, first thing I did to the car was, you guys already seen, the uh, double XR 19, 19 by 9.5 all the way around. So, second mod I did, I put the scoop on here, the air scoop. Alright. The um, First, second, third, this is the third mod, the HR, HR hood. Uh, this is original, straight from the factory, it's not bootleg. Uh, you can always look for that, uh, that sticker right there, the Nissan logo. That's another mod I did. Another mod that I did to the car, if you look down there, it's the uh, C1 Motorsports uh, Aluminum Under Shroud. The one that goes in the bottom that covers from anything hitting your engine. That's another mod I did. Another mod I did, I put a C1 plenum spacer. That's another mod. This helps the engine breathe better, actually. Um, another mod that I also did was uh, I put brand new spark plugs. Uh, I, think, I think they're GTR uh, coil, coil packs. I'm not sure. The guy, when he sold them to me, he said that they came out of the GTR, but don't quote me on that. Also, I re, re sprayed the car. I repainted it. So, that's what I did to the car. <clears throat> Another mod that I did was um, I put uh, Magnaflow exhaust headers all the way. Not headers. The... Uh, the exhaust from the headers all the way to the back, it has a Magnaflow exhaust. Uh, it's, it's really nice, it really has a really nice sound. You guys can see there, it says Magnaflow. These are pretty, pretty uh, expensive, they're not cheap. I think you can get the whole thing for like fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars $1,600. That's another mud that I did. Another one that I did, I deleted the, um, the third brake light because they look ugly. I don't know why Nissan put a third brake like in the back. I mean, to me, it looks better like this. What do you guys think? All right, so one more mod that I did to the car, I put Raceline coil lovers. Now, I bought the Raceline coil lovers for 500 bucks. They're good priced out, and they also come with lifetime warranty. So you couldn't go wrong with that. All right, let me see if I can get them. I don't know if you guys can see them in there. They're there. The bottom, brand new. They don't even have 3,000 miles on them. Because I'm about to sell the car. But that's another mod that I did. Um, I didn't put no uh, body kit or wing or anything like that. Because a lot of these cars already have the same uh, style. The same wing the same replica the same everything so i'm trying to be a little bit different than everybody else i tried to keep the car just you know as clean as possible that's the way i like my cars i don't like if somebody already has the wing unless the wing is like legendary or out of the nowhere then yeah i'll go ahead and uh you know get one but other than that man um i don't know if i'm forgetting something oh yeah the shift knob I replaced the shift knob. I, I put one from eBay. I got one from eBay. I got the coilovers from Amazon. I'm sorry. No, I got the shift knob from Amazon too. I stopped buying from eBay because eBay got some cheap stuff in there. So I got the coilovers from Amazon. You can look them up. All right. They're 500 bucks. They come with lifetime warranty. Uh, just got to register your name. What they send you the, the mailing list. Uh, also... And um, this is just going to be a short video of everything that I have done to my uh, 350Z. I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. Um, 
this is gonna be the last time I'm gonna see this car with me or you guys are gonna see this car with me because today it's gonna have a new owner so I hope you guys enjoy to this content right uh, man shout out to the tuner squad like always I'm out peace How you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel once again. I'm hoping you're having a great day today and everything you try to accomplish this year, it becomes into reality. Welcome back to the channel. I think this is quarantine day number five or six. Um, that coronavirus thing is getting really serious. I'm losing a lot of business. I haven't been able to make good enough money this week. Uh, I supposed to close, I guess, but um, it's just me, you know, so I'm not, it's not like I'm coming in contact with like 10 or 15 or 20 people. So I'm gonna tell you guys what's going on today. Today is a very sad day. Well, not very sad day. I guess it's good and bad because today we're gonna get rid of the 350C. Oh man, I hope you guys are not mad that I'm getting rid of this car, but this it, car got a new owner. He's gonna come pick it up today. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why I'm getting rid of the car. I will tell you guys in another vlog, once uh, I upload another video and when I go get the new car, but I would love to keep this car, but unfortunately it's already sold. I hope you guys are not mad, you know? You can't be mad because you know what I'm saying? You know when you guys come to this channel, I've been buying and selling cars. So, today is the day that they're gonna come pick them up. Later on when the new owner arrives, I have to take the wheels off. I didn't sell it with the wheels, so the wheels are coming off. And I also wanna give you guys an update uh, about this. I took the engine out yesterday. Um, I'm going to fix the uh, head gasket. The head gasket is blown on this car. I didn't record the process of it, man, because I'm under pressure because I had to get this out of the way because 
I only got one lift. You know, I don't have a big shop. I got a small shop. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a one lift shop here. And uh, thanks to uh, my neighbors, the Vietnamese boys. Appreciate you guys for letting me use the, your uh, engine hoist. I got one, but it was at my house and I didn't think of bringing it. Because I wasn't planning to take off the engine out, but what happened was, let me show you guys. The line here is really corroded. Like, I can't get it to come out. It's really stuck on there, guys. So, I couldn't get it out. And right here, the other line is complicated to lose it if you we were inside the engine bay. So, now I have more space to work on. Uh, so, for the head to come out, either the intake manifold has to come out or the uh, headers has to come out. So, that's why... I decided to take the whole engine now so I don't have to be struggling. And then I noticed that when I drained the uh, transmission fluid, it was really dark. So um, I am going to be putting some new fluid in there. Um, the radiator, what happened to this car, where I got it so cheap, was because the car has a head blown gasket, has a bad engine. Uh, so, you know, I'm a, I'm a type of guy that when I buy a car, I don't chase down the owner or try to ask him for help. If he wants to help me, that's cool. If he doesn't want to help me, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'll go ahead and get it done myself. But um, that's what's going on today. I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, sell the car today, guys. I hope you guys are not mad at me. Oh, I'm about to get another car, a better car. Just stay tuned. You'll see it. Um, I love that C though, that C, I really like it a lot, but sorry, it has to go, where's all my DE boys, BQ boys, I know a lot of you want to upgrade to the HR engine because it's faster and it breathes better, so that's what's, that's what I'm about to do, I don't know if I'm going to get a Nismo or a regular one, I don't know yet, it, it depends of what the future holds. But right now, just stay tuned, okay? All right. man i'm sorry i didn't record uh the process of removing the engine out of a 240sx the reason why is because uh, i'm under pressure and when i'm under pressure i just want to get things done so i already removed the uh, engine out of the 240 so now i'm gonna clean the the block of the engine with this uh, this is a really soft pad if you guys can see it. It's a really soft pad. I have an extra one here uh, I don't know where I got it from. I mean my my neighbor is the one that gave me this uh, They're mechanics next door, so I'm about to uh, clean the the head with this I Mean I'm sorry that the block I already took the head to the machine shop So I'm gonna wait for them to call me so that's what I'm doing today on today's uh, blog, video, however you want to call it. Um, I forgot to bring the list of the uh, subscribers. So I will uh, shout you guys out in the next video. However, uh, this is uh, my neighbor right here. He's the guy that's helping me with 
the uh, installation. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna go ahead and get it done. Um, so I'll hit you guys back when I'm. I'll, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated when I when I put everything together. So right now, I'm gonna, I just picked up the the head from the machine shop. They did a great job. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and put it on. All right. Sorry, I can't record much. Uh, my camera is about to die. It only has like five percent left. But um, next time, maybe in another video or something, when I pull another engine out of a three, uh, I mean two forty, about to say three fifty C. I don't have the three fifty C no more. But anyways, next time when I I go ahead and uh, shoot the, uh, I shoot more content about taking the head off. There you go, man. Where's the money? So, okay, so explain to him what he has to do. Like, okay, so this is just a bill of sale. You, you can take a picture. We're going to keep this copy. You can take a picture of it, and then print you it. can print it out. That's just for us to know that we sold it to you, and you're responsible for the car. Okay. So it's no longer in our, our possession. Yeah. Entonces, lo que le estoy diciendo a él, que este, este es el bill of sale. Nosotros nos vamos a quedar. Él ya le tomó una foto. Si usted mm -hmm. necesita una copia, nada más lo único que necesita hacer es este, sacarlo en una máquina. Mm -hmm. Y es todo. Mm -hmm. ¿Ok? Y este es el, el título. Aquí ya lo firmó mi esposa y, mm -hmm. y aquí está el, el, la fecha. Lo dejamos limpio todo. Léenlo, léenlo este bien para que Hello? no vayan a hacer este. So you won't make a mistake. Right, really? so my name or his name. No, you're going to have to put on his name because you have to be 18 oh, yeah. to register the yeah, car. You, you can always wait until you go over there and then ask. Yeah, so make sure. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, you want to keep this one, right? Yeah. And then you're you got to do anything else in here? Huh? I got to do anything else in here? No. no All you it. have to do is once you guys go to the DMV, they're going to tell you to fill this out, fill the odometer, and that's it. And then have somebody sign it to move the title. Okay. okay. Right now, don't fill that out until you guys go to DMV and see what they say. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's not like the Civic, you know, like the Civic, the, the clutch is all the way high, and then the finally take this one is right away. You let go and boom, it takes off. Okay. All right, man. All right. If if he crashes, oh, hold on, man. I gotta take the tag off. Oh. Yeah, I can't give you the tag. Hold on. So it's a done deal, boys. I'm taking my car today. Oh, I gotta take the tag off. The original rims are not that bad, right? You like them? Huh? So if we get pulled over right now, we like, we just bought it. Look. Right. Yeah. You got a copy of the bill of sale, right? My mama has it. You want me to get it? No, get the it. bill of sale, you took oh, a picture, picture of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Just show them that. But tell your mom to follow you. You're not, you yeah. don't live that far, right? Right there. All right then. I'll be coming to you when I need wheels, bro. Yeah. And tires. Come see me, man. Hell yeah, so you can see it. All right. I'm going to put a little duct hook to you. Take care of it, man. Yeah. You wreck it, it's yours. Yeah, All right. All right, bro. Sold as it is, bro, okay? All There's right, no bro. warranty, okay? All right, yeah. All right. All right, man. Don't fuck up his car now, man. He just got it, man. How do you feel music? Huh? Right there, put the button on, man. Turn no, it on. Wait, wait, my phone, I need the charger? Nah, man, that, you got to put another radio in there. Oh, it's not Bluetooth. That, that right. one doesn't have the, are you talking about a Bluetooth? Yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah, you got to upgrade the system. Oh, okay. Right. But it plays CDs, it plays the radio. Put the radio. You don't have a CD at your house? Nah, I think I'm just gonna buy the little thing on Walmart that you just connected to. Yeah, buy that. To the thing and you yeah, yeah, there you go. 
Hey, you know I'm not. Listen, man, I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on the car, man. If I'm getting rid of it. Yeah, yeah, I know. It makes no sense. All right, man. Yo, you good to go, man? Tell the tell tell your mom to follow you. And show him how to move the seat and everything, okay? Yeah. Look, hey, he's trying to show you how to yeah, move the no, seat. Right that that one's only uh, electrical. The other one ain't. All right, man. Go ahead. What's up, bro? What you got? You need more tires mounted? Okay, give me a second, man. Farewell to the 350 D. All right, journey continues, boy.